This rude employee's short takes place after Bad Gold Goomba for Hire Episode 9 and before General Guy for Hire Episode 95. Okay, Zamazu. Now that we told Skip Bip about our plan and told him and his gang members to invent a big hole for our first phase of our plan, what's next? Do you remember the second phase of our plan to create a utopia for all of the troublemakers? Yes, I do, Goku Black. But before we start our second phase of our plan, we need to tell General Guy to come meet with us here. Since his 100th job is near, we are going to tell General Guy about this plan. Okay, Zamazu. Let's get General Guy over here and tell him about our plan. Oh, hello there, Eggblack and Zamus. What do you guys want? Have you guys came here to relax or something? Actually, no. General Guy, we just came here to talk to you about our plan, and it is extremely important. But we want you to come with us to discuss it. Okay then, Eggblack and Zamus. Since you guys want to have a talk with me, I will be heading to your room to discuss whatever you want to talk to me about. Hey, guys. What are you guys talking about? We heard you guys talking about some kind of plan. You guys will find out tomorrow. For now, Goku Black and I need you to gather your gang members and invite them to a meeting we are going to have tomorrow. Save your questions for the meeting and just invite them to the meeting. Okay then, Goku Black and Zamasu. Guys, why do Goku Black and Zamasu want us to invite our friends to a meeting tomorrow? What kind of meeting is this going to be? I'm so confused right now. We're just as confused as you are, Guadia. But let's just do as Zamasu says, keep our questions for the meeting we will have tomorrow, and invite our friends to the meeting. Affirmative, Levi. Let's go. So, Eggblack and Zamus, what do you both want to talk to me about? Well, to begin this conversation, do you remember when Skip Bip and his gang invented a hole that would not only help us defeat the root employee hunters and end the entire world? Yes, I do. What about it? Well, to tell you the truth, we are the ones who told Skip Dip and his gang members to invent that big hole. So, the truth is that Skip Dip's ultimate plan was part of our plan to create a utopia for all of the troublemakers. Wait a second, what? Zamus, you were telling me that you and Eggblack were the ones who told Skip Dip and his gang to invent a big hole? And you're telling me that Skip Dip's plan was just a phase of your plan to create a utopia for all of us? That's right, General Guy. Skip Dip and his gang inventing a big hole to stop our worst enemies of all time means that they agreed to help us create a utopia with literally known entrave makers around. But that was just the first phase of our plan. Well then, what is the second phase of creating a utopia for all of the troublemakers? Before we talk about the second phase of our plan, just answer these questions. Do you believe that Earth should be an environment where everything is fair? Do you also believe that we should live in a planet where our justice prevails every time? Yes, Eggblack and Zamus, I do believe Earth should be an environment where everything is fair for us. But what do you mean by our peace and justice? Are you talking about us getting revenge on our worst enemies? That's exactly what we are talking about. You said it yourself, didn't you? You said that your worst enemies have caused you a bunch of trouble and humiliated you time after time. Would you like to change that and fight for our dream of a utopia? What kind of stupid question is that? If your dream of a utopia is to create a world where there is no non-troublemakers around, then, of course, I would like to get revenge on my worst enemies of all time and team up with you guys. Excellent choice. General Guy. Our plan of a utopia will not only help you and your gang members win against Team Mighty Warriors, but it will help you and your friends take over this entire world. But anyways, time to talk about the second phase. And what is that? General Guy, we need you to get out your non-improving one and make a fake version out of Xeno right now. This is in case if Xeno tries to erase the big hole from existence. We need him to deal with the real Xeno. That's the second phase of our plan. With pleasure. There. Now please introduce yourself. Hello. My name is Bad Zeno. And I am now part of General Guy's gang now that General Guy created me. Nice to meet you, Bad Zeno. Anyways, Bad Zeno, we need you to deal with your regular clone and distract him in case if he is to interfere with our affairs. 
You have the same powers as your regular clone, so it's time for you to deal with them now. As you command. Time to leave Earth and deal with my regular clone once and for all. Anyways, General Guy, it's time for you to know what the third phase of our plan is. Here it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are those the Super Dragon Balls? Egg Black and Samus, where did you guys find them? First off, yes, these are the Super Dragon Balls. Second, we found them while we were stealing things when we broke into the hotel where Team Mighty Warriors are staying at. And not only that, but the two of us alone also drugged all of the members of Team Mighty Warriors, including Kat Sid Chang, while they were sleeping so that we could keep them from interfering with us stealing the Super Dragon Balls. Anyways, General Guy, since your 100th job is near, it's time for you to make your wish. The dragon will grant you literally any wish you want. Wow. That was a very smart move of you two to drug all of the members of Team Mighty Warriors and steal the Super Dragon Balls. But anyways, time to make my wish. Come forth, Divine Dragon, and grant my wish, peas and carrots. <laughs> Why have you summoned me, General Guy? Tell me your wish now. I shall grant you any one wish you tell me. Very well then. Anyways, Super Shenron, since my final job is coming, I wish for you to give me and all of my current gang members, except for the reanimations, demons, and reanimated puppets, the powers of invincibility and immortality. General Guy told Super Shenron his wish for him and all of his current gang members, except the reanimations, the demons, and the reanimated puppets the powers of invincibility and immortality. And in just a few seconds, General Guy's wish was granted. Note, the reason why General Guy didn't wish the reanimations, the demons, and the reanimated puppets the powers of invincibility and immortality is because there would be no need for him to wish them to have those powers. The reanimations, demons, and reanimated puppets are already invincible and immortal. Your wish has been granted, General Guy. The Super Dragon Balls will no longer be active for another year. I hope you're happy with your wish being granted. Thank you for granting my wish, Super Shenron. And goodbye. <coughs> okay, Egg Black and Samus. Now that I am now invincible and immortal due to the dragon granting my wish, what should we do next with the super dragon balls? Simple, General Guy. If we want to make sure that our accomplishments and your wish are not undone, then it's time for us to destroy the super dragon balls. Excuse me? What? General Guy, you need to realize that even if there are some more wanted employees that will have epic fights in their final job. We don't have any other choice but to destroy the Super Dragon Balls if we don't want anyone to undo our accomplishments. Yeah. This includes the events even after your final job. If you don't want to feel hurt again after getting beaten up again or see any of your friends getting killed again, then it's best to destroy the Dragon Balls to not let anyone undo your wish. And you don't need to worry about us, Stinky Pete, Empo Zord, Jafar, Dark Hebrid Bozer, Classic Lori Loud, Classic Finkin Loud, Belson, or any of their gang members. Goku Black and I already made the same wish you made on the Dragon Balls last year. So, this means that if me and Goku Black had any beatings in the past, then we were just pretending to be hurt when we were not hurt at all. And Grogger already gave the ones we just mentioned the powers of immortality and invincibility from what we heard. Well, in that case, then it's time for all of us to destroy the Super Dragon Balls so that we don't have anyone undoing our accomplishments later. Let's do this right now. There. Now that the Super Dragon Balls are destroyed, nobody will be able to undo our accomplishments now. This means that my wish will never be undone. The same applies to your wish as well. 
Now, we're one step closer to accomplishing our dreams. Don't get too overconfident yet, General Kai. You and your gang members may be invincible and immortal now, but that still doesn't mean that your worst enemies will not beat you up. Still, even if they do beat you up, you and your gang will not feel hurt. Anyways, the third and fourth phases of our plan of creating a utopia for all of the troublemakers to rule are complete. The fourth phase of our plan to create a utopia where non-troublemakers don't exist was to destroy the Super Dragon Balls. So, now that the fourth phase of your plan to create a utopia where all of the non-troublemakers are non-existent is complete, what is the fifth phase of this plan? We will discuss about that tomorrow. Anyways, General Guy, you heard about me and Zamazu getting jobs in the future, but would you like to work with us in some of our jobs and watch us serve the customers now that we told you part of our plan? Yes, I do. I would like to work with you in some of your jobs and watch you serve the customers after my final job. And also, I've already convinced all of my gang members to watch you serve the customers after you start getting jobs. Okay, General Guy. Right now. It's time for you to invite all of your gang members to the meeting we will have tomorrow, including Skip Dip, Kabuto Yakushi, Orochimura, and Katweek Tweek. You must not invite the reanimations, demons, or reanimated puppets. And if you're going to ask why you should not invite the reanimations, demons, and reanimated puppets into the meeting for tomorrow, then save the question for the meeting. We will discuss about that later. And if you are wondering why we are not excluding Itochi, Abito, and Nagato from this meeting, then it's because we want to see the look on the faces of Itochi, Abito, Nagato, and all of the rude employee hunting teams when they hear about this plan. I also hope that Itachi, Abijo, Nagato, and the rude employee hunting teams get scared when they hear about this plan. But anyways, it's time for us to invite our friends to the meeting tomorrow. I couldn't agree more. Let's send these invitations to our gang members to attend the meeting tomorrow, except the reanimations, demons, and reanimated puppets. After that, we will wait until the time comes for us to start the meeting. There will be a second part to this rude employees short. Please stay tuned for that. Also, anyone is welcome to make an aftermath of this rude employees short after the second and final part is released.